Let me, let me play this tape. This is one of Mr. Biff's favorite reports. He told me that he went to his favorite Chinese restaurant, and here he is. Oh, look, here he's walking down the street. He's kind of a cool guy, Mr. Biff. He's my favorite interviewer. <laughs> hi, how you doing? Oh, he just see that? said, hi, how you doing, little guy? Okay, here he is. He's walking down the street, soon to go into his favorite restaurant. Oh, gee. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Oh, well, let's watch this together, okay? Oh, <laughs> funny bit. <laughs> this is it. My Mecca, my holy grail. Mr. Biff, people say, how, how come you've been looking so big? Well, one of the reasons is because I love the food here. I eat here at least three times a week. So, oh, I'm going to go in now and find out why the food is so good. So, kitchen's down here. I'm going to go and talk to these guys right now and talk. What? I'm sorry? You're too busy in the kitchen. Don't go in the kitchen now. Well, what do you mean? You're too busy. Lunchtime. Well, what do you think, Mr. Kwan? Huh? Oh, very busy. Well, I don't care. I'm going to go in the kitchen anyway. It's 12.30, and there is a definite electricity in the air as Mr. Biff and his camera crew approach the kitchen. We are now? Oh, oh hi. <laughs> hi, kids. <laughs> Mr. Biff. In the whole, whole kitchen, right in the hard line, as I've said many times before, of the kitchen, okay? Talking to one of my good friends, the chef here. Now, what kind of soup would this be? Um, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah, so, sort of a chicken soup. It's kind of a chicken soup, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, how long have you worked here? Uh, oh, yeah, he says he's worked here about 10 years, loves it. Oh. Well, uh, tell me, that, what kind of meat is that in there? Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, he gets it, he gets it down the street. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. He says, anytime I want to come back and have some of the soup, I can. It's great. I love it here, and we're having fun. And thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of food being cooked. White stuff there, that's called rice. Yeah, and these two little dishes, oh, they're probably being held for Mr. Biff to taste. <laughs> and Mr. Biff is getting hungry. What kind of meat is that? Uh, oh, he says it's sort of a beef, I think. Is that a beef? Is that beef? Don't yeah, it's beef. I think it's beef. It's either beef or pork. It's one of those two. That knife must be very sharp. Yeah, he says it's really sharp, that knife. He sharpens them every night just before he comes to work. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, get out. Oh, get out and probably get him some more meat or something. I guess that's what he means. <laughs> Oh, look, a picture of Mrs. Ho-Ho. I think they keep her picture on display in the kitchen so that the staff remembers who signs the checks. Oh, lots of big bowls in the kitchen. Walks, they call them. Yeah, walk the heck. <laughs> oh, no. And the work never stops. Lunchtime at the Ho Ho Rest. Is that a uh, dish for me there? Uh, excuse me. Well, I guess that's it from the Ho Ho. <laughs> See you later. Cut, cut. Oh, ow. Oh, I hope he didn't hurt himself. Mr. Biff, let's go over and see how Bart is, okay? Come on. Oh, still sleep. Listen to this, listen to this. <laughs> okay, Bart, Bart. Well, he's still, a, still asleep. I know how long he sleeps. He usually sleeps for... Bart, Bart. Okay, gee, too bad, too, because he really wanted to see this next tape. You know what it is? It's sort of like uh, Mr. Biff's interview. It's Billy Glitter. He's got a whole new thing. Chinese restaurants, can you believe it? Watch this, Billy Glitter. Bart, still asleep. It's time once again for the hardest working man in show business. A true, up de in depth, in close, personal look at the one and only Billy. I'm clean, Duke. I'm clean. Don't do that to me. Well, Billy, we want to talk to you for just a second. So, you've added to your chain of restaurants with a chain of new Chinese restaurants. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Well, it's a new idea I had, you know. Is it fine? Yeah, like well, he's ever had a new idea. Well, no, come on, just a second. Well, well what, what's your idea? I mean, isn't a Chinese food restaurant a Chinese food restaurant? You know, wonton and One, uh, sweet and sour, standard Chinese fare. Yeah, no, well, wait a minute, though. At mine, you get, like, linguine, what? ravioli, uh, pizza if you want it, you know, stuff like that. It's my Chinese you know, restaurant. 
You're so dumb, man. What do you mean? Don't you understand that that's <laughs> Italian food? Linguini, spaghetti, <laughs> Italian food. Yeah, but... It's not Chinese food. That's Chinese the point. food that's restaurant the point. denotes. Yeah. Chinese food. So, that's the point. At my restaurant, you know, like maybe you go in, you say, yeah, like some pita uh, chasi wat dan fat. But then you can get, like, maybe some ravioli, too, you see, if you want it, or what? linguine. It's a new idea. It's a great idea. I know what you mean. Well, it's wait a, a minute. You can, dumb idea. No, you yeah, can no. spaghetti, spaghetti and fried rice. It's a great idea. It's a great really. idea. It's a, great, it's a dumb idea. Yeah. Duke, wouldn't you like to have some, say, some, like, some pizza and some wonton soup together, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. Well, I? Would you? I know you like your food. Well, yeah. Have yeah, a slice of that pizza and some wonton, too. How would you like that? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Huh? I don't money. believe it. The guy is going to make another million <laughs> off of this dumb idea. Yeah, I think I'll make a lot of money out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be a good one. Okay. Yeah. Thanks yeah. a lot. Oh, he's, he wants I, me I to know, go. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll uh, some pizza and egg roll after. Yeah. Over to you, uh, Biff and Bart. No, I don't. Never work. It'll never work.